Hello, welcome back to Ask Alan about low carb cocktails. Today we're going to go over a tiki drink called the Big Bamboo Cocktail. Stay with us and see how to make this great drink. We'll be back in a second. Hello and welcome back to Ask Alan About Low Carb Cocktails. Today we're going to make a drink called the Big Bamboo Cocktail. This is a tiki drink that I think that you'll enjoy. Unfortunately there are some things that have carbs in it, but I have as much as possible decreased those carbs to give us a little bit less. Um, actually quite a bit less because of the way I made this, but um, as you know any carb is something we need to be careful of. Um, I think that this is going to come in maybe around 18 carbs, uh, but the the native drink um, without any of the the decreased carb items that I'm putting in probably is going to be, you know, 30 or 40, maybe even 50 carbs. Um, I did not uh, um, add those add up the actual carbs in the final drink, but in the original drink, but the but this version will have uh, quite a few less, but we still are going to hit at least 18 carbs as, as I counted. So what this has in it is two ounces of orange juice. Now these this is actually fresh squeezed, squeezed orange juice because I just made um, or in, am in the process of making some more um, uh, orange curacao with with simple uh, with a artificial sweetener. So the uh, orange peels are used in that, and uh, um, the uh, oranges are left over. So I went ahead and squeezed some of the orange juice, and we'll in this one have some fresh squeezed orange juice. I have not found any orange juice that is lower carb than just regular fresh squeezed orange juice, so that's what we're using. Um, that's going to give us uh, about 6.4 carbs for uh, for the two ounces. With that though, we add um, only about three and a half carbs from two ounces of this light pineapple uh, juice. That uh, is probably half of what uh, the regular pineapple juice would have in it. So that's something that I think that uh, I'm using this light pineapple juice, that is something that helps. It calls for De Kemper's um, creme de banana, and that has about eight carbs per ounce, um, and it does call for an ounce of it. I often um, use the 99 bananas instead because 99 bananas has a lot higher uh, alcohol content and you can maybe use a little bit less of it. So I think for this, instead of getting that full eight carbs, I'm only going to use um, maybe a little more than half. I still want to get the banana flavor, but I don't need to have as much of the alcohol. So that'll decrease it a little bit. And then the next thing is the light rum. A light rum that is not too expensive and actually pretty good is the Plantation 3 Star. Not, like I said, it's not very expensive. Um, and this is kind of a go-to um, light rum. Um, better than Bacardi. Um, uh, a little different, but uh, at least as good, maybe a little better than the Don Q Cristal. And there is one ounce of this. And there is one ounce of Malibu coconut rum. We don't use Malibu. We use the 
coconut rum that I've showed you how to make um, in an earlier video. Uh, go back and look at that. Uh, but this has basically no sugar because I use, um, in this case, I did use Don Q Cristal rum in it, but I use uh, sugar substitute and coconut extract. And this tastes as good in my mind, or maybe even better than, uh, than the Malibu. And it also has um, a, bit, a, higher, uh, a higher ABV. So it's definitely something that uh, you want to go back and look and see how I make this. And you probably should try to make this too, because there's a lot of good drinks that use Malibu. But Malibu is, has a whole lot of sugar in it that you do not need. And there is a drizzle of grenadine, but that's actually, I think, supposed to be on the top. Um, so, take that. And it just kind of does taste for about 10 seconds. Pour into a cold. And uh, like I said, I, the uh, grenadine is supposed to be drizzled, I think, on top. If you have a glass uh, mug, then that would be good to do. I decided I wanted to use this tiki mug. And I'll just dirty dump the ice and everything in there. And drizzle. A little bit of grenadine on top. That is really, really good. Now, like I said, um, you can use a little bit less of the um, 99 bananas instead of using the full amount of the um, of the, the Kemper's uh, creme de banana, which will take it down by maybe to uh, by about four carbs um, and with that you might come in at uh, closer to 14 14 to 16 carbs in total there's gonna be a little bit in the grenadine but I make that with uh, with artificial sweetener as well um, so um, with that uh, it's well below 20 carbs total um, the original I'm sure is is um, going to be well well up there in, in you know, triple or more that, that amount of, uh, of carbs because of the amount of sugar that is in a Mal in Malibu. Um, so with that, um, definitely give this a try. Just uh, make sure you understand it's got a little bit of carbs, um, even with the low carb uh, um, ingredients. And um, enjoy this. Uh, like and subscribe um, so that we can uh, help this get out to more people. Uh, you can also share this with your friends, especially if uh, you know people who uh, would like to enjoy cocktails but they want to do uh, that they have to do lower carb, um, or just people who like cocktails in general, uh, so they can learn how to make cocktails and use regular syrups instead of the the ones that uh, I do as low carb. Uh, but uh, definitely please like and subscribe and uh, give me comments so that I know what I've done right or wrong and what I can do better. Um, I will try to get some more information in the, in the comment fields uh, about how I made this. I'll put the recipe and uh, uh, point back to the, the video where I did the, the, uh, um, the, 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 um, coconut rum instead so that you can use that instead of, uh, of Malibu and that's uh, it for this week um, hope you uh, do enjoy this and I hope you uh, help me build this community and have a good day we'll see you next time